What's up everybody? It's your boy Beam here. Oh! Let's see. Hey! Okay. Great. Um... Okay. For breakfast, I, um... What? For breakfast, I had chicken pot pie, leftovers, and uh, coffee. For lunch, I didn't really have anything. I guess you could say I had uh, some sausage. Some leftover sausage. And for dinner, we had stew. Uh, I woke up at, I wanted to wake up at 5.30, but I woke up at, um, 6, 6, 6, no, I woke up at, like, 6, like, 6.20-ish, uh, and the reason why is because I'm gonna try and wake up in exactly 5 hours, you know, at 5 p.m., at 5 a.m. for school tomorrow, um, I'm gonna leave at 7 a.m., um, and I'm gonna go to my classes and hopefully they go well. We'll see. Um, you know, I think they'll go well. Um, I hope my math class goes well. We'll see. Sorry, I've got like stuff on my face. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Um, yeah, so, uh, also speaking of my face, my face is looking a little better right now. I, I said yesterday, you know, my, my skin looks pretty better pretty fast after I, have an, uh, after I have a reaction and it's happening. Yeah, so I woke up at around 6.30. Um, I had chicken pot pie leftovers and um, uh, coffee. I brewed some coffee for me and my dad because my dad's working from home today. Uh, and then I, you know, worked on some laptop stuff. Um, oh, and I also cleaned my boots. This is the cleanest my boots have ever been. Look at these. They look so nice. You just see the wear on them for my work. I'm gonna wear these to school every single day because I like how tall they make me and uh, they were too expensive to not wear all the time. So uh, yeah, I got them cleaned. I've got my clean shoelaces right here that I cleaned and you know, yeah. I I'm gonna get some thinner paracord and replace my shoelaces with that because I think that's fun, but you know, I'll do that later. Um, yeah, so then I exercised. Um, I'm trying at least a little bit to get my skin okay before school starts. So I didn't run at all, so then I wouldn't sweat, so then my face wouldn't get all red. Instead, I just walked from 9.18 a.m. to 11.21 a.m. Uh, the walk took an hour and 55 minutes, almost an hour and 56 minutes. It was four seconds away. Um, and the walk on the treadmill, I walked six miles. Um, I burned 720 calories and yeah. Um, I was pretty happy with it. I started watching, is his name Caleb Hammer? Let's see what his name is. He does these like financial audit like podcasts. Yeah, I started watching some Caleb Hammer. And the funny thing, let's see if we can make the lighting a little better. That's okay. The funny thing about his videos is that um, it's basically like a financial audit where you get someone on and they talk about their finances, uh, except this guy does it in like a podcast format for like an hour and he goes over things, he gives solutions. It's really interesting. And it's sort of, you know, typically we're watching financial advice on YouTube or something or hearing it from your dad, you know, you're hearing all the correct things, right? But, um, you don't know how money will influence you personally. Like, if, like, for example, with, like, lifestyle creep, right? Like, I don't know if I get a pretty well-paying job, if I'm gonna get, like, do I have a pimple here? Oh, it's just red there. That's weird. Um, I don't know if I get a well-paying job, if I'm gonna get weird brainworms about it and, like, start spending more money, right? Or, or um, you know, uh, let's say a big emergency comes up, you know, and I put it on like a credit card because then the money isn't real for like 30 days, right? Um, just like weird stuff like that, that's like a one-to-one -one, like personal thing. Um, Caleb Hammer videos are really interesting because you get to see what people are thinking that leads to them making these bad financial decisions. And it makes you, I assume, recognize when these things are happening to you and when to, and to not do what these people did, right? And, uh, you know, maybe I'm just making excuses to watch sort of, uh, I, I don't want to call it mid, but it's very, um, it's, <laughs> it's very sort of silly. It's, it's very, they're very silly videos, right? So maybe I'm just making excuses, but you know, um, yeah, so 
I would watch that on the treadmill. Then I came up, I cleaned my boots some more, which resulted in my boots being very clean. Um, and then I sat down and sort of just looked um, at my bank account. <laughs> that sounds so cringe. I have crazy brain worms. I have financial brain worms. Here's the thing. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I have, I have no excuse. I'll, I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching Dave Ramsey. I'm watching the money guy. I'm watching Caleb Hammer. I'm watching Graham Stephan. And it's, they're, they're drilling themselves into my mind. That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I bought a drying rack. Uh, right now, as I look outside, it's just absolutely pouring rain, which I'm happy about because it means it's not going to be summer anymore. But um, it's kind of depressing because it means I can't hang dry my clothes outside, which is something I love doing. So instead of like having to use the dryer, which is probably the worst fate you can do with your clothes, um, I'm gonna, I, I just bought a drying rack off Amazon, like an Amazon Basics one. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna have it in our spare room and I'm gonna dry my clothes there. Uh, it seems a little more efficient. I think with the amount of rungs it has, I can probably afford to do laundry once a week instead of twice a week. Uh, with the clothesline, I can only really fit four shirts on there, and I have seven shirts. So if I want to wear and wash all of the shirts equally, I have to do four shirts, wash, three shirts, wash, to make sure they all fit on the clothesline. But with a clothing rack, um, it's nice because there's so much space, and I think I can fit all seven shirts on there. So I, I think maybe I could just do my laundry once a week. Hopefully. We'll see. And then maybe I'll become fully indoor drying-pilled. Um, yeah, what else? Um, I don't really think there's anything else. I'm gonna try and go to bed early tonight. I'm gonna try and go to bed at like 8, uh, so I can uh, wake up comfortably, comfortably at 5. Um, I know if I go to bed at 9 and wake up at 5, I'll get 8 hours of sleep, but if I go to bed at 8 and wake up at 5, I have a 1 hour buffer, and that buffer is important to me. Um, but, yeah, what else? Um, do you want to see my backpack? <clears throat> so, oh, you can't see my backpack. Let's see if I can turn my light on. Is that better? Yeah, kind of. So, here we have my backpack. Right um, here is going to be my water bottle. Um, so, hold on. Okay, so. So here's the door, here's the college bag tour. In here is gonna be my ThinkPad T480, which is actually just right here. It's gonna be in, it's gonna be in this pocket right here. Um, oh, that's a heavy laptop. Um, and then uh, in this next pocket, it's, I open it up, it's gonna be my calculator that they said I needed for math class, but I'm not sure if that's real or not. Um, and it was only $20, so it's fine. Um, and as you can tell, this pocket is actually one, two pockets. So in this pocket, I have, uh, two different sealed packs of gum, because I always have an unsealed pack of gum in my pocket. And in this other pocket, I have, um, contacts. I have contacts in case, you know, something detrimental happens with the contacts in my eyes, and I have an emergency, and I need to run to the bathroom to put on new contacts. Um, hopefully that should never happen though. That happened once though at high school and then after that I always carried an extra pair of contacts. Um, and then, uh, in the front pocket, I'm gonna go for the main pocket last even though there's not much in there. Um, this pocket has pretty much the most stuff. It's got, um, my iPhone charging cable, it's got my pencil and my pen, it's got my lotion for my pretty nasty eczema. Um, it's got some tissues in case I need to blow my nose, and it's a nose blowing emergency. I've got um, hand sanitizer in case I need to sanitize my hands. And I've got floss, because I feel like, don't you hate it when you eat food and then there's something in your tooth and you don't have floss on you? So there's just nothing you could do about it. It's horrible. You just pick at your teeth all day and it looks ugly. Um, but you know, there's always good to bring floss with you. Um, and then in this pocket, I have my laptop charging cable, and I have my little hidden little AirTag here. Um, 
Yeah, okay, here's a tour of the main pocket. Which is actually nothing. There's nothing in here, it's just my battery. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be my bag tomorrow. I'll probably also bring a notebook or something, probably some paper. I don't think I'll need to ever use it, but I think it's good to have pa like paper on you. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Yeah, okay. See you, dude. Is that it? School's tomorrow. School, tomorrow. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, see you, dude.